here in the early 70s. And like many of them did, they set up churches here too. Stay tuned. One is Pentecostal Church, turn right. Second Avenue. And we are turning. Praise him, Deacon. We are en route to the church they were before now. So that would have been in the uh, early 70s. And the lights. So Darling and Alfred. And that used to be the first church of Oneness Pentecostal Church in Brantford, Ontario, now converted to a home. And, uh, it does look like a church actually. Yeah. Don't want to go too close. Someone actually lives there. It's a church converted into a home now. Right here at Darling and Alfred Street. One is Pentecostal Church. That was their first location. I'm satisfied with just a cottage below. people were here before oh, they yes, moved over yeah, to college yeah, yeah, and yeah, 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 yeah. yes 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 we had a lot of young people here yeah, because yeah, we had yeah. my children are here too. but yeah. after they went to college mm -hmm. the, the, the scatter we had a, we didn't expect them back we expect them to start a life of their own yeah so, some yeah. remain some gone mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, but they're in the church. That's the thing. Yeah, they're all in the church, yeah. right? Yeah, they've been in the church. Yeah. Right. So that says that the teachings and the foundations mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. that was laid, right, was very mm -hmm. solid. Uh, the young people, I think, has somehow deteriorated from the standard of holiness mm. that mm -hmm. we are used to. Mm. Uh, and that was one of the things that's on my mind. Uh, um, um, too much of the worldly style is creeping into the church. Uh, and that is a concern for me, for more young people. You can't serve God and serve the world at the same time. You have to be separated. I believe God is holy. Mm -hmm. And we are called on to holiness. Uh, we are in the world, but not of the world, but mm -hmm. too much of the world is in the church today. That's what I believe. Mm -hmm. But I would encourage my young folks then uh, to take holiness to be a serious thing. Mm -hmm. So God is holy. Mm -hmm. uh, if, you know, if you remember when Moses went up to the mountain, the place was so sacred that Moses took his shoes off him. Took his shoes off, <laughs> standing on holy ground. Because yeah. yeah. he was in the presence of Almighty God. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, uh, you know, so yeah. holiness is a big songwriter says it's a watchword and song. We should sing it, shout it loud and. You have messages in piles. How yeah. high? How high? <laughs> well, I throw out a whole pack of them still, but I have one like this that I still go into and wow. look at them. Messages the Lord gave you for the church and you've just kept big, them? Big pack, big, big packs. Years ago? Years ago. Like two years ago? When I started them? Yes. Oh God, no, long time ago. <laughs> and, they're, and, and they're, they're like that. And, wow. and now, I really don't think to the church now. I put the younger one them in there. Yes, yes. Makes sense, succession, yeah. others, you know. Yeah, I put them. But one thing I heard about you, Pastor, I heard you're like a walking Bible. 
Well, you know the word, and you know we have a children's book, and we have a picture of you with a Bible. Really? <laughs> yes, the young people they they draw they, they I'll I'll show you the, the picture, yeah. and uh, they did a picture of you with a walking Bible because oh. I was told that you memorize. So you saw me in some things there. Eh? It was your daughter told me about that oh, that oh, you're known oh. for the word, the scriptures, the scriptures. like you could just. Yes. You agree with that? Yeah, yeah, because I know I used to. I used to. Mm, mm. Now I don't. Um, not into that anymore. And that's okay because mm. I mean you've done your I labor. Know. You you've yeah. served ministry. You've served the church, right? I know who and still, like you said, um, I started here now. How long? How long that now? Thirty some odd years. Sixty uh, seventy. That's about 45, mm -hmm. 45, 44 years. Well, I turned a pastor from then. Mm. Pastor. So you walked into it, but you fulfilled. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Mm. Give me your favorite scripture. Ye though I walk in the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. Amen. But thou art with me, thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Saint. Thank you. Psalm 23, verse 4. Yes. Thank you. Thanks. Praise the Lord, everybody. Can Great you... is the Lord and greatly to be praised. God bless our leaders. One is Pentecostal Church here in Brantford, Ontario. Deacon Dyer and Pastor Solomon. God bless your work, your labor. It is not in vain. We pray, we know that this church will continue by the grace of God. God bless you both and thank you, sir. Thank you. Praise you. And here's one of the descendants here from Brantford, Ontario, Deacon Dyer's daughter. Oh, great. Catherine <laughs> Dyer. You know How does it feel to be here back in your home church? Well, you know, I it's memories. Think? Yes, yes. You know, grateful for godly yes. foundation because a yes. lot of people don't have that. And That's in right. times like these, it's grateful to be reminded yes. that, you know, what we have yes. and to cherish it. Great time spent here in the church, here in Brantford well, with Pastor. Lower. No, it was great. This was perfect. This is what we needed. Just I'm like just looking see. at all different things. Yes, yes. Yeah, yeah. Taking in the grounds, yeah. locking up here. They take down. Great sign. I got the sign. See there? Yeah, they take that down and put on the hat and they keep changing it. So God bless Canada. Oh, okay. Then after that, yes. now they, that is taken down. Good. Put different, different words of, yeah, yes, exactly. I love that. That's good. In the children's book, I have this tree. And I didn't even know that I was going to come across this monstrous tree here in Brantford. Does this tree could talk? This tree is over 45 years old that was planted by the late Walter Wright and it's here I'm sure last 45 years and a home there that's one of the pioneer churches here in um, pioneer families I should say um, here in Brantford Ontario so when I just saw this tree I was like wow can you imagine planting a tree and it's grown to this and to me this kind of represents how these churches have grown and flourished all over canada talk about church in canada look at it brantford well french fries andre let me see what it looks like and it's forbidden there's no ketchup allowed here so apparently when you come to brantford you got to get the so Brantford like, french fries. That's right. It's like, you can't leave. You can't leave without it, right? Oh, they're delicious. <laughs> We've been eating them for years. Yeah. Really? You can come and not get french fries. Yeah, okay. Yeah. So this is it. Stan's fries. We'll enjoy them. Thank you yeah. so much. Have a good night. <laughs> okay. As I reflect on this week's walk, history walk, and going to the city of Brantford, what is so evident is the strong sense of family, a lot of bonds, a lot of labor, a lot of toiling. It reminds me of that song that we sing, Yes, Lord, we are toiling on. We are toiling on. Let us hope and trust. Let us watch and pray and labor till the master comes. And, 
And as you can see, I mean, there are these churches built in the 70s and as immigrants came into the country and they, they went to churches and these black churches started. And my book really gets into the detail in terms of the conditions of why a lot of these churches across Canada started. Southern Ontario, there are reasons for that. And all of the talk about multiculturalism, and I understand it, but you're going to under, also going to understand the conditions in Canada, why a lot of these black churches were established. Brantford, Ontario, Ottawa, Hamilton, narrative after narrative, it's the same story. And I, I write about this, but you know, the other thing I really think deeply about is when you think about the sacrifices of what many of these Caribbeans did when they came, they were building their families and building the church, you know, purchasing these buildings that are so well kept and, and many of them are aging. And uh, we, need, uh, we need a generation of laborers. The Bible says the, the harvest is plenteous, but the laborers are few. And we just pray that even as someone is watching this video now that missionaries will be birthed and evangelists to continue to evangelize this great nation as many of these pioneers are aging and successions are needed in terms of you know new ministers evangelists you name it to come on and continue the work and their labor is not in vain and to pastor solomon and deacon dyer and the Wrights family and all the many young people, middle-aged, who have toiled and sacrificed and labored for the gospel on that side of Ontario and Brantford, Ontario. Your labor is not in vain. And we trust and we look forward and we trust in the Lord that the work of God will continue. And that's it for this week. Until next time. Oh.